Hey guys, and welcome to another Harvest Finance video tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to purchase farm and how to deposit it into the profit sharing pool. So the first step is to get our farm. There are two methods. The first method is to market buy farm from Uniswap or etc or an exchange. This is the most common way. The second method is to claim farm rewards from your front page deposits. So on my last video, I deposited some USDC. I'm going to go back and check this. So you can see my 100 USDC deposit is now 114 USDC, great profit. And I also have a small amount of farm rewards. If you want to use these farm rewards, you must claim them here using claim rewards. You click claim and you process the transaction. Once the farm is in your wallet, you can then stake it in the profit sharing pool. But say for example, I don't have any farm. So simply just go to Uniswap, connect your wallet and go to the swap page. Once you're on the swap page, you want to find farm. You can go in here, select a token and type in farm. If you can't find farm on this list, you can get the contract address from CoinGecko or from CoinMarketCap or from Etherscan. From any of your favorite sites such as these, there is the contract address like here, okay? Here, contract, copy this. Go back to Uniswap and paste the contract address and hit farm. Just to ensure you're buying the correct farm. Now, farm should be on the bottom because that is the purchasing of farm. I'm going to pretend to purchase 0.5 ETH of farm. We swap, we confirm the swap and we make the swap on Uniswap. It goes into your wallet. In order to make sure you can see it in your wallet, you should go to your assets, go to add token at the bottom of your MetaMask or other custom token and here token contract address. Same thing, you put it in and it will say farm. I have it already, so I don't need to. Great, now I can go back to Harvest Finance and go to the profit sharing pool. Profit sharing pool is this one here, the one that says farm. You can see this black exclamation mark. This is to show me that I have farm in my wallet that is not staked yet. The current APY is 35%. Now this APY comes from the profit that the protocol makes, okay? So based on 30% of all of the profit that the protocol makes based on deposits, 30% of all of that goes to the profit sharing pool. It first buys farm from the market with this 30% profit. This raises the price of the farm token. The farm tokens that are bought are then sprayed as emissions to the profit sharing pool. So double fold, the price of your farm rises and also you can gain more farm by depositing here. So you click open and now there's a new feature, the iFarm feature. Okay, so the iFarm feature is a deposit signifier of your farm. Your farm is gaining interest based on the APY of the profit sharing pool. The iFarm is the signifier of this deposit that gains interest in theory. So here, I farm is the interest bearing farm. One I farm now equals 1.039 farm. At the beginning, one I farm would have equaled 1.0001 farm. But because the farm in the profit sharing pool is gaining interest, the I farm that is minted out is actually worth more once you redeem it. I farm is intended to be used for collateral or other potential uses so that you can continue to utilize the profit sharing pool and you can also move the token about. Previously, you had to make the choice. Do I want farm to be earning on the profit sharing pool or do I want to have my farm in my wallet? Now you don't have to make that choice. So let's go and have a look at just depositing farm by itself. Here, max my unstaked farm is 10, so I want to stake them all. I'm gonna click max and then deposit. The first transaction that comes up is to allow the protocol to spend my farm. This must be done by every protocol for every asset. 
is to ensure security and that it can't freely spend all of your assets if there was a problem. Okay, so that's complete. Then you would go to click deposit as usual. This one here would be the deposit transaction. I'm going to reject it so that I can use the iFarm. Okay, so the iFarm deposit is exactly the same. You just have to click use iFarm here. Make sure that is clicked on. This changes to iFarm and you must deposit your farm into this vault. Same process, click max then deposit and allow Harvest Finance to spend your farm. This is a secondary vault, so we must allow it to spend our farm. So farm has been approved, and now we're going to deposit our farm into the iFarm vault. As you can see, the gas fee is pretty low on this vault. It's an optimized vault. Thank you, Bread and the guys. Uh, we're gonna deposit this in, and I will receive iFarm in return. For the iFarm token, you can go to Vault Details, click iFarm Address, click this. You get Etherscan and you can find the iFarm token. Here is the contract address, copy that. Go to your MetaMask as you would normally and Assets, Add Token, Custom Token, deposit this iFarm here. Next, and my iFarm has been added. Okay, so this iFarm is currently worth 10 farm as that is what I put in to the protocol. As the underlying farm is gaining interest, my iFarm will be worth more. And I think that covers it for today. If you have any more questions about iFarm or farm or harvest in general, please come to the Discord and just ask. Thank you.